Now the main portal vein. The main portal vein crosses obliquely and anteriorly to the inferior vena cava. The pancreatic head extends just inferior to that point of crossover. So here we are on a sagittal section. This is the inferior vena cava. This round, dark area is the main portal vein crossing in front of the IVC. That's our marker for the head of the pancreas. So all of this is head of pancreas that extends about four centimeters inferiorly, four centimeters in length. Uh, so this is our marker for the cranial aspect of the pancreatic head. Now the superior mesenteric artery. On a transverse scan, the superior mesenteric artery is cut crosswise cross in cross section as a circle located anterior to the aorta. The superior mesenteric vein has a very characteristic echogenic triangle of mesenteric fat around it. That makes it easy for us to recognize. Um, and in front of that then is splenic vein and then pancreas. Now, you may have a patient with a lot of bowel gas, but if you just visually spot that echogenic triangle with the hole in the middle, you know you are at the superior mesenteric artery. So that's going to be aorta in the back. The left renal vein crosses in between. The splenic vein is just anterior. And anterior to that is body of the pancreas. So we know that at least this part is part of the pancreatic body. Again. Uh, an echogenic triangle of fat on a transverse scan with a hole in the middle is SMA. In front of that is splenic vein. In front of that is pancreas. Notice here that the pancreas has a little um, hole in the back. That's the common bile duct passing through the head of the pancreas posteriorly. And a little hole anteriorly, and that's the gastroduodenal artery that lies on the anterior surface of the head. Now, if you ever see a picture like this, which is very confusing, uh, and you, you, you use these landmarks to help you sort out where you are, you know you're transverse, because here's the spine. Um, this looks like aorta and inferior vena cava, and then you have all these masses, but you recognize an echogenic triangle of fat with a hole in the middle, so you know that's SMA. It's far and spaced far away from the aorta, and then you realize that you are staring at masses uh, all over this uh, uh, region, the region of the pancreatic gland. On a sagittal scan, the superior mesenteric artery originates anteriorly off the aorta. The first branch off the aorta is the celiac trunk, and very close after it comes the superior mesenteric artery. Now, the celiac trunk is short. It points, I, I think of it as a long finger that points to the uh, body of the pancreas. But the superior mesenteric artery curves and uh, has a long course and parallels the abdominal aorta. It also has quite a narrow uh, angle in between through which pass some important anatomic structures, which we will address later. Uh, that superior mesenteric artery has an echogenic kind of uh, border around it because that's that mesenteric fat that surrounds it. Uh, in front of that is splenic uh, vein, and in front of that then is body of the pancreatic gland. Now this shallow acute angle of the superior mesenteric and aorta, um, there is a left renal vein that has to pass over the aorta. It comes right through this uh, acute angle. So sometimes when the two arteries have too high of a pressure, they can pinch off the left renal vein. Um, a little bit um, inferior would be uncinate process, and then the third part of the duodenum crosses over. But the important thing is the left renal vein. So if you're looking at this sagittal section of the body and you see the aorta, but you do not see a normal superior mesenteric artery paralleling the aorta, you see that you, you recognize the vessel, but the angle now is very wide. And then you notice that all this tissue is surrounding it, um, displacing the artery from the aorta. 
and this is all an invasive tumor uh, of the pancreas uh, recognized by, uh, with invasion of the spira mesenteric artery due to that narrowing. Now the celiac artery, I already mentioned that it's the first major trunk coming off the aorta. It's not very long. Uh, it looks like a long finger pointing to the body of the pancreas. Uh, notice that uh, we have the uh, abdominal aorta and uh, it's paralleled in front by a thin hypochoic stripe. That's a, um, a, the cruce of the diaphragm or a, a slip of the diaphragmatic muscle which stops approximately at the takeoff of the celiac artery. And then comes the superior mesenteric artery. This patient shows the collapsed uh, left renal vein passing between superior mesenteric artery and aorta. Uh, this celiac act, uh, artery points to the body of the gland behind which is the splenic vein. The splenic artery has a tortuous course and it travels along the superior border of the pancreas. It's a marker for the cranial edge of the pancreas. Uh, it lies superior to the vein, which is directly behind the body of, of the gland. Uh, so it's a marker for the cranial aspect. Notice also that it has a very tortuous course and it sort of weaves in and out uh, and up and around the top part of the gland. Uh, we don't know why it tends to be tortuous, uh, but even in young people it may be somewhat tortuous. Now this is something to remember because there's a pitfall that can occur with this splenic artery. Um, if you ever see a little cystic mass in the pancreas, the first thing you should think of, could this possibly be a piece of the artery that's weaving in and out? And you turn on the Doppler and sure enough, this was just the splenic artery. Any cystic structure then in or around the pancreas should be interrogated uh, with color Doppler at least. Now the same thing holds for a little calcification. If you see a little calcification coming from the gland, uh, and here's another example, a little calcified rounded mass with shadowing. Here's another one, looks like a calcified structure in the body of the gland with shadowing turn on the color because this could be that tortuous calcified um, splenic artery and it often calcifies. So it, it do not think that this is a um, calcified little mass in the spleen, uh, in the pancreas, it's um, in the um, artery. Uh, 